I don't know. I feel like... Be like what? Like we're being watched. And the people that are watching you have decided you're thinking the wrong thoughts. So they're going to re-educate you. Welcome to Darthawk Gaming. Microsoft's new Black Mirror Recall feature records everything you do. Yep. Yep. So it's, it's time to uh, move away from Microsoft. Not move away from the PC, PC, move away from Microsoft. Definitely don't get an Apple because Apple is just as bad. Plus, the same hardware in an Apple, I mean, the same hardware in a PC, you get the same hardware in an Apple that you have in a PC. The Apple computer is going to cost five to ten times more for the exact same stuff in the PC. It's ridiculous. But anyway, let's watch uh, this person from Microsoft talk, talk about their um, spying on everybody. How do we introduce memory, right? Photographing memory into what you do on the PC. And now we have it. So it's called recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. And it's not just about any document. We can recreate moments from the past, essentially. Here's how it works. Windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen, then uses a generative AI model right on the device, along with the NPU, to process all that data and make it searchable, even photos. I got to try it out. I searched brown leather bag. It came up in visual search. There's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag. It just knows because it sees this brown leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. Really? From some people? And pretty creepy? No, this is just pure evil. Microsoft is taking screenshots of everything I do. Yeah, I mean, that's what... Yep, everything we do. Why that... It can only do it on the edge, right? So this is like, you know, you, can't, you have to put two things together. This is my computer. This is my recall. Uh, and it's all being done locally. If it's being done locally, then why would you want to do this? Here's why. In June, The Guardian revealed that the NSA claimed to have direct access through the prison program to the systems of many major internet companies, including Microsoft, Skype, Apple, Google, Facebook, and Yahoo. How does PRISM collect data on U.S. citizens in the United States? PRISM collects data on U.S. citizens in the United States primarily by gathering data from companies that participate, that willingly participate. I know Verizon's part of this also. Through legal processes such as court orders, but not just only court orders, uh, PRISM compels technology companies to provide access to user data, including email, search history, and IP addresses, among other information, like all information. <clears throat> Yeah, um, <sighs> oh, and look at this, there we go, Microsoft Windows Recall 11 recall feature, <clears throat> exclusive to Snapdragon X processors only, for a quality experience will allow you to search through your past actions by recording your screen in the background and use that data to help you remember things, because everyone has dementia like Joe Biden now, right? Yep, everyone has dementia now, so we now need, oh my gosh, really? Uh, Black AI-driven feature for select Windows 11 PCs, capturing detailed user activity, including on-screen content. Described as a photo blah, blah, photographic memory, that addresses the, cha the challenge of finding previously seen information. Because, wow, this is, and it's, it's definitely for gathering information and sending it somewhere else. That's exactly what it's for. Yeah. Um, like I said, I have Windows 10. Never upgrading the Windows 11. And this is my last Windows computer. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to play games and have fun. And if you have a Windows 11 computer, I'm sorry.